Happy Friday, boo. So today is day 22 of our self-love challenge where we are showing ourselves a little more love and strengthening the relationship that we have with ourselves all month long because we can all afford to show ourselves at least a little bit more love. So I'm so glad that you are here for this challenge. And I hope that you are using the guide to check off the assignments you've already completed as well as keep track of the ones that you haven't done yet. And as usual, my clone is gonna be sliding on in with your assignment. So let's get it. Today's assignment is a fun one. So for day 22, here's what you're gonna do. Ooh, bars. You are gonna take yourself out on a date. Yes, you heard me right. You are gonna take yourself out on a date for a night out on the town or out to dinner or out to the movies or wherever it is that you wanna go. You are gonna treat yourself to a special outing, a real date with you, yourself, and fabulous you, okay? That's it, that's the only people who's invited. <laughs> because as women, it can be so easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life and actually forget to take care of ourselves in the process. We get so focused on other people's needs, what the boss needs from us at work, what our partner needs from us at home, what those kids need. Don't they always need something? <laughs> you know, what other loved ones need. And then we forget to make sure that we're taking care of our own needs. Or we just run out of time and energy to do so after prioritizing everybody else's needs. So when you take yourself out on a date, you are going to be prioritizing you and only you, which means focusing on what would be fun to you. Now, I know that a lot of people get thrown off by the idea of going out alone. They feel like they might feel awkward sitting at a dinner table alone or buying one movie ticket and sitting in the theater alone. But trust me, it's actually a lot more pleasant than you think. There is just something so special and empowering about being able to take yourself out for some quality time and to actually enjoy yourself. And you get to choose where you want to go, what you want to do, how long you want to stay, when you're ready to go. And it's all about you and what's fun to you. So it is totally worth stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit to make it happen. Like I said, even if you think it's going to be awkward, it's not as bad as you think. Just think about yourself. That's what everybody else around you is doing anyway. Everybody's self-obsessed to some degree. We all worry about other stuff. Nobody's thinking about you. You need to be thinking about you and making sure that you enjoy the experience. And let's be real, who knows you better than yourself? You can actually pick the movie that you want to see. You can go out and order that dinner that you've been craving all week or maybe even dessert. You can take yourself to a comedy show and laugh to your heart's content. Like, you don't have to worry about anything or anybody, just you and having a time. And just the act of going out by yourself is actually going to boost your confidence and your self-esteem. And you'll be reminded that you are actually good company, that you are a catch, that you have a lot to offer. You'll be making yourself laugh. <laughs> you'll be flirting with yourself and checking yourself out because you look good. And all that's going to set the stage for you to be able to show somebody else that you are a catch, that you are a good time, that you have a lot to offer, that you know how to have fun, that you actually and truly value your own company because that is priceless. There are many of us, many humans who walk among us who cannot sit in peace with themselves. They simply cannot do it. They are uneasy. They feel like they are in a state of unrest because they can't sit with themselves. They can't be in their own company, let alone enjoy it. So go ahead and plan that outing and show yourself a good time. Whether you go out to a play at the theater or a movie or a dinner or a concert, or you just go out and get pampered somewhere, or maybe you prefer a Netflix and chill kind of date, that's fine too. Whatever it is that's gonna mean that you have a good time, that's what you need to do. It's as simple as that. So get out there and enjoy yourself, appreciate yourself, and recognize all that you have to offer because you deserve no less. And when you come back from your date, I want you to tell me all about it. How did it feel? Did you enjoy yourself? what you do, girl? what you choose? Let me know. Let me know in the comments how your date went. I can't wait to hear all about it. Now go out there and love on yourself, okay, boo? And I will see you right back here for day 23 of the Self Love Challenge. What? We almost there. What? Bye.